Good morning, my friends. I'm going to try and get all my rambling out of the way at the beginning of the video before I start reading the Bible with you. And now I forgot what I was going to ramble about. Oh, one thing I remember. Oh, I remember what the other one was. I, several days ago, the charger for my camera and my headphone died. And so that day I went to town two or three days ago. I went to the only place in town that sells stuff like that. And I've had three otter box brands the last three that I had I bought them well I, I said I went to the only place in town that has them that's that not right they do have them at Dollar General and there is a Dollar General here but those things are so cheap they don't last but a month or two and I just get tired of buying them that often so there's another place that sells good brands, and I have loved OtterBox items for four, five, six years. And they have, OtterBox has chargers, but for the cable and the charger, OtterBox brand is 60 bucks, $60. But I pay for it because they last a long time. Well, it died, and I had three or four of the cheap ones I had bought at Dollar General. I tried them. Two of them didn't work, and so I threw them away, and the other one did work, but I don't trust it because I had some kind of problem with it. Probably the cable part, I don't remember, but there was some kind of problem I had with it is why I got the OtterBox one. So I got me a new OtterBox one, but they only had the cable in the OtterBox brand this time. They were out of the charger itself, but they did have an Apple charger, and so I bought it, and I bought the OtterBox cable. <clears throat> Found out after I got home and after I opened open them and got them out the apple charger only has one usb port in it and i need one that has two all the other ones i've had had two but not this one <laughs> and it was sixty dollars for the charger and cable again even though it just has one port instead of two so i cannot charge my camera or my headphones at the same time like I've been doing for several years and last night usually an hour or two before I go to bed I charge the camera and then leave the headphones on the charger overnight while I sleep I forgot to charge the camera and I forgot to charge the headphones so I hope I got enough juice here to get through this video and then I'll charge both of them one at a time. And the other thing I want to ramble about, you know, everything that God does is perfect. But when he created man from the dirt, from the soil, and gave us whiskers, I wish he had also given us an on off switch kind of like a light switch so we can turn the growth of the whiskers on or off for for all you guys that likes a lot of hair on your face and head you could turn it on and for guys like me that doesn't like hair on my face or head i could turn it off because i sure i don't like shaving but i don't like hair either and i don't like hair so much I shave, even though I hate 
shaving. That's why I only shave like once every three or four days. I shaved yesterday and it's already showing again. Usually I don't have to shave but once every three or four days, but less than 24 hours later, I need to shave again, but I didn't yet. That's my rambling for today, unless I think of more while I'm reading the Bible. All right, we are resuming and we will complete the book of Amos. We are at chapter seven. <clears throat> and after Amos, I got a little bonus for you. Chapter 7 of the book of Amos. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth, and lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And it you know, God had a purpose for everything that he created. But there's a couple of things he created I wish he hadn't have created. Like chiggers, I hate those things. I have them, I had them on the Texas Gulf Coast and I have them up here and they are not nice. And I hate uh, fire ants. Thank God they don't have them up here, but they had them on the Texas Gulf Coast, and I fought those things relentlessly. <laughs> All right. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, and uh, they'll eat more than the grass of the land, they'll eat your flowers, they'll eat your vegetables, they'll eat everything. They're a pain in the butt. And I got them up here, too. We had like a plague of grasshoppers here last summer. I mean, they stripped everything just about. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating of the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord, God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. Why did he wait until the grasshoppers finished eating before he did that? Anyway, the Lord repented for this. It shall not be, saith the Lord. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and he and did eat up a part. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, this also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a plumb line. Then said the Lord, behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the high place, places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For this Amos saith, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. Also, Amaziah 
said unto Amos, <coughs> O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread, and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered Amos, and said unto Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman, and gathered of sycamore fruit. What is sycamore fruit? I've had sycamores before, but I never saw fruit on them. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Bam, y'all. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. I just read that to you twice. That's not the bonus I was talking about, though. <laughs> now, therefore, hear thou the word of the Lord. Bam, y'all. We need to always be listening for the word of the Lord. Thou sayest, prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his hand. Boy, that's some news I would hate to get from God. Whew. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a basket of summer fruit. Then the Lord said unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, saith the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, <clears throat> saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small, and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuge of the wheat. The Lord hath sworn by the excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land tremble for this, and every one mourn that dwelleth therein, and it shall rise up holy as a flood, and it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth and the clear day. <clears throat> and I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation, lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins 
and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a better day. It sounds like here to him, baldness is not good. I think it's good. I like it. I even like bald women. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth, and they shall fall and never rise again. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them, Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. <coughs> and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them, and I will set mine eyes upon them for evil and not for good. And the Lord God of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt, and all that dwell therein shall mourn, and it shall rise up holy like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. And it is he that buildeth his stories in the heaven, and hath founded his troop in the earth. He that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them up out upon the face of the earth, the Lord is his name. Bam, y'all. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord? Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Kaftor, and the Syrians from Ker? Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up, close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, 
and I will build it as in the days of old. For they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink of the wine thereof, they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon the land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. And that just finished the book of Amos. And that is a good book. <coughs> And the bonus is we are going to read the entire book of Obadiah together now. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen, Arise ye, and let us rise up again against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. <laughs> the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out, and how are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee, that they eat thy bread, have laid a wound under thee, there is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of Mount Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigner, foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast as one, as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah 
in the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity, yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off his that did escape, neither shouldest thou have delivered up any of those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own hand. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Build upon Mount Zion, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau, and they of the plains of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of his host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. All right, my dear friends, we have just finished the book of Obadiah and the book of Amos, and I will be back this evening with readings from the New Testament. You all have a good day or a good rest and sleep for you, everybody on the other side of the world. I don't have much planned for today. I got stuff planned all right here at home. I'm not going anywhere. Have no plans to go anywhere for the next two or three weeks. Oh yeah, I do. I gotta do something to help a friend I forgot about. Carly, I hadn't forgot about you, sweetheart. Just, I just, just, all right, y'all, I love you, I appreciate you, and I will talk to you later. Oh, and since I am here all alone, all the time, except for Kitty Callie that's right there asleep, I decided to start training my voice to sing again. I used to be a good singer. I used to sing in a Christian band or a Christian group. And then all of a sudden I lost my singing voice, but I'm trying to whip it back in shape so I can sing again. So soon I might give you all a little sample of my singing. And it's not near as good as it used to be. 
but I'm getting better. All right, y'all. That's it for now. I'm going to eat a banana and get another cup of coffee, and then I'm going to get busy with some work on the computer. I got some house cleaning to do, too. I always got house cleaning to do. Anyway, I've talked too much. God bless you, friends. I love you all.